Hello friends, I am Neshek from blogtoot.com and today in this video I will teach you how to create a beautiful and professional sliders for your WordPress website. Now the best thing about this is that we will be using a free plugin to create it. We will be using an absolutely free plugin to create these sliders. Also this plugin has many pre-made and ready to import slider templates which are all mobile and tablet friendly. So without wasting any time let's see how we can do this. So first of all to create these sliders we need a new plugin and to get that plugin come to your dashboard. From the left hand side hover over plugins and click on add new. Now over here search for smart slider. You will get this plugin smart slider 3 by next end. Install and activate this plugin. This is an amazing plugin as you can see this has more than 500,000 active installations. More than 700 or maybe 750 5 star rating last updated 2 weeks ago and compatible with your latest version of WordPress. So you just have to install and activate this plugin. And once you do that you will see a new option at the left hand side smart slider. Click on that option. Now over here by default you will see one slider will be automatically created for you. I have created few more but you will see this one slider sample slider will always be created for you. So you can simply go ahead click on edit. And you can see this slider will be created for you. If you want you can make some changes in this slider go to slide 1. This is how your slide 1 will look like. You can go to slide 2 make some changes over there as well. Now again if you come back to dashboard you have one more option. You have this option template library. So if you want there are many pre-made professional sliders. And if you want them on your website you just have to click on one single button and everything will be imported on your website. Let me show you an example. For example if I click on this button or if I click on this option template library. You will see there are so many different sliders available over here. Some are free, some are premium. Now all those with this batch free obviously is free one. So as you can see this is also free uh, slider. So if you want to import this slider you will simply hover this and click on import. And this slider will be successfully imported for you as you can see. This is the setting page you can see this of sliders different sliders. This is slider 1 and if you come back to this option you will see there are slide 1, slide 2, slide 3. So all the different slides are successfully imported for you. And if you want to make some changes on slide 1 you can simply click on this edit button. You will see this slide you can if you want to make some changes just click on that and make some changes over there. Now I'll show you everything from scratch. I'll show you how you can create your own amazing slider from scratch. And for this example we'll be using this slider. As you can see this is an amazing slider, very good looking slider. And we'll be using this free plugin to create this. So as you can see first of all in the background we have this gradient background which means that it is a combination of two different color. Then on top of that we'll be using this title, subtitle, this call to action button. And we'll be using this image. Then we'll be creating another slide and very similar slide but a slight change in the design of the button. So let's see how we can create this one. So for that we'll come back over here. Click on slider, a smart slider from the left hand side. Now obviously to create a new slider you'll click on this green button or green option new slider. Now you have to fill in this thing. So first of all your slider name. So we can just name it anything for example in this example I want to name it slider 10. So I'll name it slider 10 over here. Then after that. Uh, we have to select a width and height. So it can be anything in this example I am selecting 1400 pixels width and maybe 500 pixels height. Now how do you want this to be default slider or full width slider or thumbnail slider. Now I want to create a full width slider for example as you can see in this demo website this is a full width slider. So we will be using this option full width slider. If you want you can also import a sample slider from here as well. I don't know how to do that I can simply click on this green button create. Then after that a new slider empty slider will be created for you. Now we have to create a new slide. So for that you will click on this option add slide. Now they will ask you what slide do you want to create image slide, video slide or do you want to display your post or the different post blog post that you have written on your website. Do you want to create a slider for that or maybe if you want to create a slider for static overlay or dynamic slider. So in this example we will be doing everything from scratch. So we will select this option empty slider. Click on this option. A new slide will be created for you. First of all just click on save. Now if you see at the top uh, under slider 10 which is our slider one new slide is created slide 1. Now let's see how we can make some changes over here. So on this page I would recommend you to zoom out a little bit. So I'm zooming out to this thing to 90 percentage. On your main website when you come back to your web main website you can always see this website in 100 percent uh, in 100 percent view. But on this example I would recommend you to see this in 90 percent zoom. Alright guys now the first thing that we have to do is we have to give it a background. So to give it a background you will have to select this option background option. First of all if you want you can insert an image in the background or if you want to insert a color you can select this option. Then after that you can select any color from here for example if you want red color you can select this option. 
If you want some other color, you can select this option. If you want to make it gradient like we have done in this website, you can do that as well. You can select this option and you can select what kind of gradient you want. So left to right, right to left, uh, horizontal, vertical, all the different types of gradient are available. I'm selecting this option left to right. Now you have to select what colors do you want to in this option. So in the first color option, I want to select this color 00B6C3FF. Now, as you can see, this is how your slider will look like. And for the right hand side, as you can see over, over here, at the right hand side, we don't have any color. So at the right hand side, I want to use this color 90ED87FF. And your background will look something like this. Then after that, again, you can click on save. Now, after this thing, first thing I want to do is I want to create two different columns. Because if you see the demo slider in the left hand side, we have a column. And in this column, we have this title, subtitle and call to action button. And in the right column, we have this image. So we'll do that thing first. So for that, you'll click on this option. You'll click on this structure button. You'll get this option, what kind of structure you want. So we'll select this option, two columns. Now, as you can see, two columns are created on your website. Now in the first column, in the left column, first thing that we want is this title, start a profitable online store. So for this, you will select this option H, which stands for heading layer. So just click on that, drag and drop this option over here, just like this. Now you can change this title. So for this, I want the title to be start a profitable. And now to design this thing, to style this thing, we can do one thing. We can go to this option, second option, which is style or which is design. And here you can see there are many different options. First of all, we can change the font family. By default, it is Roboto. For this example, I want to select this option, which is at the bottom, Varela round, whatever it is, just select this option. You can change the color of this text if you want. If you want to make it red, green, blue, you can do that. I want to keep it white. So I'm selecting white and I also want to increase the size of this button. So I'll select this option size. I'll make it 62 pixels. Okay. Just like this. And we also want to make it left align. So I'll select this option left align. Okay. Now this is how your first text will look like. Now what we can do is because our second text is also very similar. In fact, the same style, only the text is different. We can, we can just right click on this or we can just hover over this and click on this button. This will duplicate this layer. Okay. Just like this. Now we can click on the second option and we can just change the text and we can enter this text online store. Okay. Now as you can see, we have successfully created two different layers. Then after that, for the third layer, we again want to use this heading. So we'll select this option, drag and drop at the bottom. Now for this text, we have to type in this thing. So let me do that. I'll come over here. I'll select this option online store and I'll type in this thing. Okay. Now, because it is applying the same style, it is looking quite bigger, but we'll change this thing. So go to design. Now let's change the size of this one, obviously. So for this, uh, instead of 62, I want to make it 22. Okay. This is how it will look like. Now I want to add some margin at top so that we have some space over here at top of this option. So for that, you will see this option padding. You can add some padding or you can add some margin. You can also add some padding, for example, 10 or 20 pixels padding. Now, as you can see, it has added some gap at top of this text. Now let's add this button. Okay. So this button. So for that, we'll do one thing. We'll select this option this time, button layer, drag and drop this at the bottom. This is how your default button will look like. First of all, you have to change the label or you have to change the text, which is written on the button. So I'll type in download now. Now we have to style this thing. So for, for that, we'll go to design and we'll change this again to this text. Varela round. Increase the size of this text to 20 pixels. Okay. This is how it will look like. And now let's design this thing. So to design this thing, you have to scroll down. You have to increase the border radius. So when you increase the border radius, this will become a circular button. As you can see on your screen, this has now become a circular button. And we also have to change the background color of this button. So maybe if you want to make it white, you can select white. Now, because the text color was also white, we can see that this text is now disappeared. So we have to change the text color. So instead of white, we maybe I can select this color. Okay. This is how it will look like. Now we can, we can make it left align. So if you select this option text align, it will not do any changes over here. So for that, you have to click on this gear icon, go to settings and change the position to left. Okay. Like this. Now, as you can see, there is very little gap between this button and this about text. So we have to add some margin at top of this button. Now under this option, you will see margin is given over here. Now we have to ma add some margin at top, but if you add anything over here, for example, if you add 10 pixels, 10 pixels margin will be added from all sides. So let me first make it zero 
if you want to make uh, 10 pixels only for top you have to de-link this thing this is right now linked click on this option now as you can see we have four options so the first option is top then right bottom and left we want to add some uh, margin at top so we'll select the first option make it maybe 30 pixels okay like this now in the left hand side we want to add an image so i'll select this image layer drag and drop it over here click on this image and uh, let's select this image select it click on select this image will be present over here now this if you want to use this image i have given a link in the video description below if you click on that link you can download this image for free now because we have added this image now as you can see this text looks like it is all going at the top and we have a lot of uh, space at the bottom i want this content in the middle so for that you can hover this you will see this option column col click on that okay now you'll see a option like this and here you'll see vertical align by default it is at top make it middle or make it center okay it will look something like this now you can click on save and with this your first section or your first slider is now complete now there are few things left for example we we don't have any gap at left and right so we must have some gap at left and right so that this looks good so for that you can do one thing you can click on any layer for example you can click on this image or maybe if you want you can click on this or title you can click on any layer and when you click on this layer you will see this layer you can you will see this option content then row so by default it is content which is this entire section then in, in this content we have added a row then in that row we have added two different columns and in every single column we are adding different layers so you can do one thing you can click on this option content click on content when you click on content everything will be selected which means this entire canvas will be selected now for the desktop i want to do one thing i want to add some uh, padding from the left hand side okay from this side so i'll select this padding option i will dealing this option and as i have explained you earlier first it is top right bottom left so we'll select this fourth option and we'll make it maybe let's make it 100 pixels okay now as you can see we have some space from the left hand side now i can click on this save button now once you have created a slide you have to make it mobile and tablet friendly so let's see how this slide so this slide right now looks great on desktop but we also have to make sure that this thing looks good on mobile phone and also on tablet so first let's select tablet so click on this tablet icon which is given at the top now as you can see this is how it will look on a tablet so i think we can make some changes over here so select the first text uh, this is the one start a profitable now you have to go to this option this gear icon go to gear icon and you will see this option go to this setting option and you will see this adaptive sizing on this thing and for this font a uh, font size modifier make it 80 80 percentage or maybe let's make it 60 percentage okay this is how it will look like select the second text make it maybe 80 percentage select this text third text make it 60 or 80 whatever you like uh, select that option now again similarly select this button make it 80 percentage i always make sure that this thing is on adaptive sizing okay for this also always make sure that this thing is all on adaptive sizing now let's go back to mobile phone so we'll select mobile phone and this is how it looks on a mobile phone so here also we have to do some changes so first of all i don't want this 100 big 100 pixels padding at the left hand side so i'll go to content i'll click on content and uh, uh, we'll go to this option and here as you can see we have added 100 pixels i'll just click on this dealing button and this is how it will look like you just have to make everything 10 okay like this now select this option uh, first text let's change the size so go to this option design or go to this option settings make sure adaptive setting is on and let's make it uh, maybe 45 okay 45 looks good and also make it center align for mobile phone so you can select this option position center okay select the second text make it position center and change the font size modifier to 45 select the third text make it center select the font size modifier to maybe 45 let's see yeah 45 select this button make it uh, bring it in the center and let's change this to 60 okay this is how it will look on a mobile phone now let's come back to tablet this is how it looks on a tablet come back to your desktop okay so this is how it will look on a desktop i think uh, desktop and uh, tablet i have i think we have made some mistake over here okay so it looks good on a tablet but on desktop we have to do some changes so come back to desktop select the first option under adaptive sizing make it 100 percentage okay and make sure over here when you hover this you make sure that this option is tick mark okay 
this option this first option desktop option is tick mark select the second text make it 100% and again make sure this option is tick mark select the third text 100% button 100% okay this will make your slider mobile friendly okay now again if you go to mobile phone it looks good again if you come to desktop it looks good on desktop as well now you can save this option now once you have created one slide you can simply copy this slide or you can duplicate this slide and you can create your next slide so let's see how we can do that so for that click on this option slider 10 or whatever slider name you have given click on this option now over here as you can see we have created this slide slide 1 now click on this three dots icon option button and select this option duplicate now a new slider will be duplicated slide 1 copy click on edit for the copy option now we can change the content over here first of all I want to change this image so I'll click on this image I'll replace this image with this one now I'll select this text and we'll use this text create a masterful so I'll just type in this thing and for this second text I want to type in business website so I'll select this option okay and for the button I want to change the color of the button so I'll select this button change the background color to maybe this uh, this color not the text color text color will be white and background color is over here so background color will be this color okay so if you want you can make some changes like this and after that click on save now because we have duplicated this slide it will be automatically mobile friendly so for like this you can create your first slider so as you can see when you come back your sliders now created now if you want you can do some changes over here for example if you come back to this option you have some uh, some settings over here so how do you want to display these uh, arrows how do you want to display if you want to display some bullets you can have some bullets as well or if you want to make it some other options you have if you want to enable autoplay you can do that as well now first of all before we see those settings let's do let's see how we can display this slider on our home page or any page wherever you want so for that you can click on this you can copy this short code okay and you can paste it anywhere you want to display it for example you can create a new page let me create a new page very quickly I'll name it demo slider then after that you have to click on this button and search for short code okay select this option paste in this short code click on publish now let's view this page okay now as you can see this is how your slider is looking now if you want to make some changes for example this is the uh, animation slide animation and the second thing if you see it is not auto play right now so it will not automatically change and the third thing I want to do is I want to disable these arrows so I want to show these arrows only when my mouse cursor is on this slider and when my mouse cursor is not on this slider I don't want to show these arrows so let's do these changes so first of all come back to your settings scroll down and what kind of arrows do you want like this or this option so by default it is selected the third option and I want to select that option as well now if you want to make some changes over here you can do that as well I want to display this option only on hover so I can enable this thing now if you save this page come back over here refresh it now as you can see those arrows at left and right are not showing but when I bring my mouse cursor on the on this and now as you can see these arrows are now showing both at left and right and when I again move my mouse cursor from that arrows are now gone now the second thing that we want to do is we want to change the animation so go to general and as you can see main animation by default it is horizontal if you want you can select fade and you can also change the duration if you select fade and click on save come over here refresh the page now if you see the animation okay as you can see animation is now changed and the third thing that we want to do if you want to auto play this thing go to auto play and simply enable this option and click on save now if you refresh this option this will automatically change after some interval and you can control that time interval from here as you can see by default it is 8000 milliseconds if, if you select 1000 milliseconds that will be one second all right guys so with this this tutorial is completed i just wanted to you know let you guys know that there is a free plugin using which you can create beautiful sliders and I hope this video was helpful to you guys. If you find this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon so that you don't miss any future updates. If you find this video helpful, give a thumbs up to this video, share this with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp. I would really appreciate if you do that. And throughout the video, if you have any doubts, any comments, any suggestions for me, you can leave them in the comments section below. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. See you in the next one.